Hello everyone, it's Brandy Cox here with Brandy's Cards. I am so excited that you're here to craft with me today. We're gonna use the wonderful Thoughts stamp set out of the 2023 Stampin' Up! catalog. This is our annual catalog. It's absolutely fantastic. If you're a customer of Brandy's Cards, you should have received a complimentary copy. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm super excited that you're here. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, let me know. Go to brandyscards.com slash contact and send me an email and I'd love to get one of these fabulous idea and inspiration books out in the mail to you. Now, I'm excited. I'm gonna show you the stamp set that we're using. It's on page 41 of the annual catalog. So here it is, I've got it sitting here next to me. And like I said, it's on page 41 of the annual catalog. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to page 41. Oh, I love that set. Such a cool set. Okay, there it is right there. So when I opened up to this page, I saw this card right here. And I was like, oh yeah, I totally want to make that. And so do you see how they've got an aqua painter here? This looks watercolored. Um, it's real soft and subtle. I thought it was beautiful, but I thought, oh yeah, I can do something similar with my Stampin' Blends, and I think I can really make it pop. Now, I'm also looking at this going, okay, where in the world is that piece at? Well, if you look down here, it's actually in the Wonderful Thoughts bundle. It's in those dies. So I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm going to show you right here, the Wonderful Thoughts dies. It's this flower right there. So we're going to use that piece. And then we're also going to use this piece. That's what creates those kind of layers, if you will, if you're looking at page 41. Okay, so the other thing we're going to use today is the Soft Shimmer a Specialty Paper. If you haven't seen this shimmer paper, Oh my goodness, you're gonna have to get you some. It's absolutely beautiful. So I don't know, there you go. I think you can see the shimmer on that one. Um, and so this one, we've got what? Lost Lagoon, I believe Berry Burst, Night of Navy, there's a pretty peacock, and then Bubble Bath, that's this one here. Do you see how beautifully that shimmers? So it's just really, really pretty. So we're gonna use that today as well. Um, so here, let me show you what we're gonna need. Oh, hang tight. You're going to be like, really? That's it? Yeah, so we're going to need a piece of basic white card base. I've got Pretty Peacock here. And then what I've done is I've taken this die and I've run it through five different times. Now this die does leave kind of a little bit of a, you know, an indentation. It sort of embosses it as it cuts it as well. So I've got five pieces here. And again, I am looking at... Um, I'm looking at casing, copy and share everything, an idea out of the catalog. You're also gonna need to run this die right here through your cut and emboss machine and cut out a couple of these as well. All right, so I would cut out at least two, if not three or four, so that you have plenty to work with, okay? So here, let's go ahead and get started. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to fold my card base, okay? So we've got our card base folded. Now I'm gonna take my liquid adhesive and I'm gonna add a bit of Pretty Peacock Shimmer, Soft Shimmer, um, specialty paper on top. And then, like I said, I die cut five of these pieces out of the Lost Lagoon color. Absolutely stunning. So you're gonna flip those over and I kind of liked them all going the same direction meaning the points, you know, just everything was going the same direction. So it looked nice and it looked uniform. So I, I did really like that a lot. And I'm gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals right behind each one of these. So just put some Stampin' Dimensionals behind those. And then what we'll do is we'll pull the backs off and we'll stick them down. Now, one thing that I always recommend is, you know, trying to you know, uh, you know, preset these, if you will. So that way, when it comes time to stick them down, you kind of have an idea of how you want them. So I'm gonna just start with this middle one, because that's the one that, um, that I think is probably most important. So I'm gonna just kind of figure out, okay, I think that looks about the middle to me. And as long as we're fairly even on the left and the right side, then I'm pretty happy with that one. 
So let's go ahead and take our dimensional backs off and then we're gonna stick these pieces down. Now, if you're looking at page 41, you're gonna see that the cardstock, um, they've actually got an embossed piece on the underneath and then they use, a, they die cut the same color and then they um, used a, like a blending brush and kind of blended the edges, which I thought was awesome. But I really liked how this turned out. So as you can see, what I'm doing is I am trying to create the same space in between each layer, right? And by kind of starting with that top one or that center one, I should say, it really kind of allows me to kind of work back and forth and um, you know, and to get that all nice and even. Okay, so there we have it. We have shimmer paper, you know, the soft shimmer and pretty peacock, and then we have Lost Lagoon. Now, here is the magical part. I am super excited to show you this. Okay, so here you're gonna need some scrap paper. Remember I said die cut a couple pieces, a couple flowers, right? And that's out of your, um, your wonderful thoughts. Um, your wonderful thoughts dies and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull in my stamp and blend and I'm excited to tell you what I have here I have daffodil delight I have lost lagoon berry burst and some bubble bath so those are the colors that I have so I'm gonna start off with a dark um, berry burst now I'm only gonna color one of these for you today but I do recommend that you color a couple of them and I will show you why in just a second so I am just kind of coloring around, following the edge of the flower. The beautiful thing about these Stampin' Blends is you just barely touch your paper and it just kind of adds the color and the color sort of bleeds outward, if you will. So I'm not, I'm not really doing anything fancy at this point. I'm just sort of tracing the edge because I don't really, you know, I don't want a dark, dark color. Um, you know, I don't want it really to be too dark. So I'm just adding a bit around the edges. Now this is the light berry burst. The light berry burst is gonna just lighten up that dark just a wee bit. So I'm just adding that right around the edges as well. Kind of uh, basically on top of where I just did the dark. And hang with me here. It actually, it'll turn out gorgeous, I promise you. So here is bubble bath. So this is dark bubble bath. And again, I'm just going to kind of work my way around and I'm adding another layer. Now, one of the things that I love about some of the lighter markers is they tend to kind of lighten up the darker markers. So here, let me show you. This is light bubble bath. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to kind of start here at the edge and I'm going to kind of give it, you know, your little swirls. Um, I haven't used the bullet end for this, but you could certainly give it a shot. And I am bleeding it towards the center and you can kind of see the color starts to kind of bleed, if you will, and it all sort of blends together quite nicely. And those darker areas kind of start to, they start to lighten up. And so I love that. Now it's still a little bit dark around the edges and we're gonna add, um, we're gonna go back and add our dark bubble bath. And by adding this dark bubble bath back in here, you can kind of soften some of that. Do you see how that really softened that? So just add that right back in there and it just really is that nice transition um, of softness between the darker and the light. So I just kind of, sometimes you just have to play with the layers, you know, and the colors. So I think that turned out beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is I have dark and light daffodil, daffodil delight, a dark and light. So I'm gonna take my dark one and I'm just adding a bit of color to the center of that flower. And then I'm gonna take the light marker and just sort of bleed that out a little bit or blend that if you will. I guess that's the better word for it. I love my Stampin' Blends. I love, love, love them. Now, if you wanted to, you could certainly come back in here and, you know, you could make that a little darker if you wanted to and add some more color in there. Um, and we might blend it since it kind of maybe looks a little circular because I didn't totally blend that, so that looks a lot better. Okay, 
So now let's take our Lost Lagoon. And I went with Lost Lagoon. I've got the dark one here. And I went with that because that was the color that we were putting this on. So I thought that that would be a nice, um, you know, just a nice way to pull out that color. So I'm just gonna blend it a little bit, although there's not a lot of blending that takes place here, but it just sort of lightens it here and there a little bit. Okay, so that is it with my Stampin' Blends. So that is just such a beautiful piece. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna take that away. And what we're gonna do now is we are going to stamp our sentiment, and then I'm gonna show you exactly how this card will come together. So I have Pretty Peacock, that's my stamp pad. So we're gonna open up some Pretty Peacock, and I have the Hello from the stamp set. Now, you don't have to stamp it and cut it out. Um, I'm gonna stamp that one more time. You don't have to do that, but I do like to cut my sentiments out sometimes. So in this case, I am going to do that. And that was my pretty peacock. So let's just kind of cut around that. And I am not, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, do a whole lot. I'm just, as far as cutting this thing perfectly, I like to just kind of, you know, make it decorative, if you will. It kind of adds another piece or another layer of interest. So I'm gonna set those two things aside. Oh, love my Stampin' Blends over there. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this in. Now remember, I had mentioned, make sure you color two. So I had colored one earlier, and what I find is that they tend to, um, after a little bit, they tend to kind of settle, and as that paper dries, they kind of lighten up a little bit. So I thought that was kind of cool. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add our little pieces, just like this, yeah. So if you look inside the annual catalog, let me go back to page 41, and let me just show you this really, really quick. So page 41 here, you can see here the five different layers, which we did ours in Lost Lagoon. We did, this is an embossed layer, but ours is Pretty Peacock. And you can see they have two of the flowers just like we did. So I thought that was pretty cool. And ours is popping beautifully right off of this, um, of this you know, beautiful shimmer paper, isn't it? So I'm gonna set those out of the frame and I'm gonna flip these over. So you could do a couple of different things. These are our mini um, Stampin' Dimensionals. You could certainly use, um, you know, you could use liquid adhesive if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna add a few of these mini glue dot or mini Stampin' Dimensionals, yeah. And if you get them right in the center of the yellow, then they fit perfectly. But if you don't, well, then you'll see them. So just, you know, kind of be mindful of that. I don't use the little ones as often because I find for me, I've got like, I don't know, my fingers always seem to get in the way. So, but they work beautifully for this card. So we're gonna take those off and just kind of pulling those off. Let's see, gotta get all those little backs off. And then we're gonna stick these down. I'm gonna show you how I added my sentiment. And then we're gonna add some embellishments. And I actually have another card to show you as well. And then I hope you uh, stay tuned. I have another video coming next week where I'm gonna show you another design in other colors. That's right. I have been having so much fun playing with this that I've made it in all kinds of colors. So we're just gonna add that one there. And then we're gonna layer this one to kind of go this direction right over the top. Now, I did hand cut out my little sentiment. I can just pop that right here. Now, I'm gonna show you how I did it on my original here in just a minute. I did it more of a banner style. You could do it however you would like, of course. There is no right or wrong way to do this. And so let's go ahead and pull in some embellishments. So I have glossy dots here. Now these glossy dots, I believe, I believe this is like a coastal cabana. Now the cool thing is, is these glossy dots, um, they kind of take on the color of the cardstock. If you put them, you know, because they're kind of this, oh, what do you want to call it? This uh, see-through or, you know, they kind of take on the color of the, um, the cardstock. So even though they are not um, peacock, I just thought they looked beautiful on here. So that's what I'm gonna go with. 
So I've got medium and smalls. I've got mine cut to all different sizes um, for samples and things that I do and I send to my customers. Um, but there we go. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love that so much. So I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna show you this card up close. Absolutely lovely. And here is one, like I said, with the banner style. So you can decide how you like it best. I just, on this one, took a scrap piece of white, stamped my hello, cut my banner edge, and then I added that to my card. Now, how about doing it in Berry Burst? So here, check out this card. This one was done in Berry Burst. And so instead of doing the Lost Lagoon white piece, pieces, I did these pieces in white. Sure did, and then I stamped my sentiment directly on my die cut piece, and I colored my flower and added it here to the card. And so this one, whereas this one here has two, this one here has one. So just a really fun, fun card that I was inspired by the artist in the Stampin' Up! catalog. So if you like my cards today, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe. Um, and of course, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think, which one that you like. Um, I'm so excited. I've done it in blues and I've done it in the purples. I've also done it um, in yellow and the oranges. So really excited. I've got another video coming for you with another card layout using you know, coloring these flowers. So I'm gonna share with you all of the color uh, combinations that I used, and I hope to inspire you to pull out your Stampin' Blends. Yeah, pull out your Stampin' Blends, die cut a flower or two, and get coloring. It is so much fun. And um, you know, when you start blending them, they really, truly look watercolored. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Now, again, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, be sure to go to brandyscards.com slash contact. Send me an email with your address. I'd love to send you one of our idea and inspiration books. And if you're one of my current customers, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you. And I hope that I've inspired you to go into your craft room and you know die cut something and get coloring and blending right away. So thank you so much um, for stopping by. Let me know if you have any questions. Just reach out to me. And in the meantime, I'll until next time, happy stamping. Bye, everybody.